at the international cooking contest known as Bocusdor. It's like Iron Chef, except there are a lot more contestants and a lot more at stake. Ben Tracy meets the American team that is a real shot at the title. Richard Rosendale runs a culinary army. It's so important that you're focusing on, on the right things right now. He's in charge of the entire food operation at the historic Greenbrier Resort in West Virginia. It's a big job. Uh, we have 13 kitchens on property, 185 chefs, uh, 90 general kitchen workers. So my hands are full. Show plate, yes, sure. right? Okay. Yet after work, he heads underground through a 25-ton blast door into a nuclear bunker. It was built as a secret hideout for Congress during the Cold War. I tell everybody it's home of yet another U.S. secret, uh, the Boku store training kitchen. The 37-year-old chef is working on the most important menu of his life in what amounts to his bat cave. It's kind of like Batman. When we kind of burst out of the uh, bunker doors in our Greenbrier golf cart, uh, there's definitely some, some uh, remnants of uh, Batman and Robin. <laughs> Robin is 21-year-old Corey Siegel, Rosendale's assistant chef. They have been training together for nearly two years. These have a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. This duo are America's best hope for winning the elusive culinary crown, the Bocuse Door Cooking Competition. What is this competition in your world? Well, this competition, I guess to kind of explain it to the public, is really, uh, it's like the Olympics of cooking. We're going against some of the best chefs in, in the world. It's high-end cooking in a high-stress sporting event environment. It's held every two years in Lyon, France, and is named for the famed French chef, Paul Bocuse. Each competitor from 23 countries has five and a half hours to create one meat and one fish dish from scratch and present it on fancy platters for the 24 judges. It is food that even foodies might find a little frou-frou. It's over the top. Over the top is a good way to put it. You're really trying to do food that is going to wow the spectators, wow the chefs visually, technically, and also whenever it hits their mouth. The Europeans dominate the competition. The best an American has ever done is come in sixth. How are you? Richard and Corey are expected to change that. This $150,000 kitchen in the bunker at the Greenbrier is an exact replica of the one they will use in France. We actually took chalk and we chalked out on the floor uh, basically exactly where everything was going to be. They've piped in actual crowd noise from past competitions. Their war room, complete with a countdown clock, is where they plot their practice sessions and review photos of past winning platters. Seven. Rosendale works out with a trainer nearly every day to keep up his stamina. Good job. If that's not serious about the competition, you know, I, I don't know what is. A half a million dollar war chest is funding this effort, and some of America's most famous chefs, including Thomas Keller, are mentoring right. Richard and Corey. Good. Keller, known for the famed French Laundry in Napa Valley, has turned one of his houses into a Boku's training center. I want America to be represented on that podium, um, and, and hopefully it's the top level. Historically, U.S. cuisine has been looked down upon yes. by the French and others. Is a little bit of this, we'd like to beat you at your own game? Sure. I mean, there's a, there's a wonderful sense of competition there. I mean, there, but there's also a wonderful sense of camaraderie. Uh, but yeah, we want, we want to win, no question about it. I mean, we want to kick their butts. <laughs> In September, Rich and Corey came to see Keller so he could critique their food. Yet it's so secret, they kicked us out before they revealed it. Stop filming. Yet while the chefs looked for ingredients in the French laundry gardens... Did you take some, uh, some oils mayo already? We noticed a certain accent had joined the team. You're okay with these guys beating your French brethren? Hey, you know what? As long as I'm part of the team. <laughs> <laughs> then you're a winner. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Back at the Greenbrier, this sign on the door in the war room pretty much says it all. So for you, this isn't just about doing your best, it's about winning? Absolutely. Absolutely. I wouldn't be doing this uh, if, if I didn't think so. Which is why he spent all this time in a bunker working on his secrets. Did you chop any rosemary or thyme? For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy.